Hello YouTube! I didn't want to let another week go by without bringing you a tutorial. Uh, so since I've done my last video, I have done uh, three weddings, two wedding shows, two comic book conventions, um, two event photo booths. Uh, it's been nuts. And uh, I've got Jet City coming up. Um, if you are a fan of Triple Click, there's a link to that in the description. But today's video, I have a quick tip that is very specific to Policy Buff users. But I also just have a general tip that's for you uh, whenever you're looking at things to protect your gear. So, my very first tip of when you're getting things to protect your gear, look for zippers. Now, there is going to be a large range. There are going to be things that have cheap garbage zippers, and there are going to be things that have nice zippers. Obviously, you want the nice ones, and you're not going to know up front unless you can physically see the product. But here is my example. So, uh, this is an older Palsy Buff bag. Uh, this was made to hold their Einstein flash units, which I have several. Uh, right now, it's got a Vagabond Mini in here, but it's a nice padded bag. It collapses flat, and as soon as it zips closed, I don't have to worry about anything falling out. Now, if you are a Palsy Buff user, and you happen to have their new uh, digital bees, the DB, I believe it's 400, 800, 1600, then you may have one of these. This is the bag that is specifically meant to hold two of those units. The problem with this bag is it does not have zippers. So, uh, when you are holding it, look at all of that space that the strobe could potentially fall out of. Um, it's not as bad when you're holding it by the handle, but when you're holding it from the shoulder strap, this bag, because of how low this mounts and how small the units are, this bag actually has a tendency to invert as you're carrying it, which, without zippers, is bad. So, um, whenever you're looking at any bag, definitely look at a bag for zippers, but here is my quick tip today. For Palsy Buff users, specifically anyone who has a DB400, 800, 1600, and owns this specific bag. When you open it up, it's got the slots for the two strobes there. Now, my tip is to put a relatively um, rigid, this is going to stretch a little bit to let you, you know, pull it back to get the units in, but put an elastic band in there. This is going to do several things. One, you're pulling tension on the side walls of the bag to keep them closed. Two, you've got just another thing kind of seat belting your strobes in there, so inevitably when this does come loose um, and they start going around, they're not going to want to fall out of this little area because you have that strap keeping them in. So I really do hope someone at Palsy Buff sees this video, uh, lodges this complaint. Um, please either put zippers or seat belts on uh, the next iteration of this bag. Um, I thought this bag was horribly dreadful when I first bought it, but this one little modification actually makes it quite nice. So if you are a Palsy Buff user and you have these strobes, uh, buying this bag uh, with the modification, don't forget to do that, um, is actually a really good value. Uh, so that is my quick tip today. Uh, whenever you're looking at stuff, look at zippers. And if it doesn't have a zipper, why doesn't it have a zipper? Um, and look to see if stuff can fall out because honestly having zippers or a double flap closure uh, really is worth it. Whereas in this case, this is just far too open. So, that's my tip. Uh, Palsy Buff, I really hope you see this video and make these changes. Thank you so much uh, for watching, and I will be bringing you a tutorial next on what is a histogram and how to use it. So, if you're interested in that topic or, or a beginner's photography series in general, um, that's what's going to be coming up next. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.